As our top story today, doctors are calling for change to stop gun violence. Since the start of the year, there have been more than three dozen mass shootings in the United States. For perspective, that's more mass shootings than days. News 4 San Antonio's Amanda Henderson explains how Texas doctors hope tonight's discussion is a step forward. It's a fight Lori Rocha will never give up on. We need that uh, someone being held accountable. And that's part of our healing journey. Rocha's son, Aaron, was killed in 2016 in a possible road rage shooting. No one has ever been arrested. He was coming home from an innocent night out, like we all do, you know, a date, dinner, whatever. And he was shot by someone full of hate and rage on this street right here. She says Aaron's death left a lasting impact. It affects everyone from the youngest uh, in the family to the oldest and, and still to this day. It's a topic Texas doctors are trying to tackle at tonight's public health forum. Every day there are shootings in Texas. Dr. Jaime Estrada says now is the time to talk about the impact gun violence has on everyone. So far in 2023, there have been more than three dozen mass shootings. Gun violence is a, a permanent uh, 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 adverse childhood event in that it affects uh, the life of children you know, for the rest of their lives. Uh, and the families also. Dr. Estrada supports raising the age to buy a weapon to 25 and strengthening both background checks as well as red flag laws. Dr. Gilberto Arvelas is all too familiar with the toll of gun violence. He was working the day of the mass shooting that killed 21 at Robb Elementary in Uvalde. That day, um, we really wanted to see as many patients as possible. You will never hear an ER say that. We surpassed that golden hour and I really just um, everything's, uh, uh, I became more and more kind of uh, uh, stressed and anguished. Dr. Arvalos says the mass shooting continues to impact Uvalde and hopes talking about the tragedy will help inspire change. And it's change this San Antonio mother hopes will save lives. And I'll never give up. Dr. Estrada says that he wants to appeal to lawmakers with this public forum. He says that the reason they chose to talk about this discussion is because they want to appeal to lawmakers both statewide as well as national because they want everyone to hear what their concerns are post Uvalde. Amanda Henderson, News 4 San Antonio.